Ladies and gentlemen, I said at the beginning of the evening we were going to talk a little more about the work of the Royal British Legion. Uh, what better way to do that than to invite on stage Mr. Martin Ford, who's chairman of the Sussex branch of the Legion. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Martin Ford. Thanks very much. So, uh, so Martin, 1921 was an awful long time ago. Perhaps uh, people would be interested in how and why the Legion started in the first place. In the aftermath of the First World War, there was great poverty, particularly with uh, millions of ex-servicemen thrown out of the, the army and navy. And uh, there's nothing, no work. So there were organisations, uh, political organisations were formed, three main ones of ex-service people. And they wanted to do something about their poverty, but they had no money. They wanted to try and get together, but their political affiliation stopped them. They wanted Earl Haig to be president of the new organization. He refused until such time as they put their conflicts aside. And eventually, eventually they decided to do that. And uh, he said that there should be no more politics in the Legion and they also invited the Officers' Association to join as well. Now, the Officers' Association had just done a great fundraising and had lots of money, which was ideal because none of the other organizations had any. So on the 14th of May, 1921, the, three, the four organizations got together, laid wreaths at the Cenotaph, and the rest is history. You see us mainly in November, but in fact, the fundraising for the uh, Poppy Appeal goes around all year round. And here we are tonight on one of those fundraising uh, operations. And this year has been a very special year for the Legion. This is our 90th anniversary. And we have set ourselves a target this year of raising £90 million. And therefore, that is why we're so grateful that the band has dedicated this evening to the Legion. Well, thank you very much for that. Anyone else but me? Anyone else but me? No, no. 